Friday news? What the f***? Welcome. It is Friday the 28th. When you hear this will be the 29th of Saturday. Well, it's been a busy week. We actually have a lot of news. News. But with that said, we better get started because I want to actually go to the gym tonight. Gotta pump some iron. No, not really. But with a lot of things going on right now, got a lot of things to do. So with that said, let's go. Da 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 da. That's right. Indiana Jones. Now, a lot of conversations coming out of this new Indiana Jones is that we're going to get a fifth one. We know there's going to be a fifth one, and Disney's going to be involved. But now we have to get to the reality of the situation is that Ford is 71 years old, and uh, the last uh, Indiana Jones kind of, no, 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 it just wasn't good. Well, it was good for like, what, an hour and 40 minutes until they went to the... um, Crystal Skull, Crystal Skull area. I think that was like the best part, but uh, I didn't think it was any good after that. So, <clears throat> so we're gonna get into the fifth one. Why wouldn't we do that? But now the rumor mill is kicking around. He obviously is gonna want to retire from doing it. It's only a matter of time. Like I mean, seventy-one years old, and when you listen to the fucking guy, he's like, <laughs> like you know, I think it's time for him to retire and. I've never been a fan of replacing someone, but if I had to replace Harrison Ford, the whole rumor mill is Bradley Cooper. I actually would have said Nathan Fillion, but Bradley Cooper works just as well. Why is that not a bad idea? Uh, Let the fanboy rage begin. But you know what? At the end of the day, someone's going to take his place or they're going to retire the franchise. Barbaric! Now, what are you doing? Get to the chopper! (laughs) That's right. Arnold Schwarzenegger has been busy and i know i brought this up previously on the last news podcast but he's been extremely busy with news and and he's doing a lot of web stuff which is different like i mentioned last week that he did the um nurse podcast but he's been doing reddit he's been doing um he also did a brief appearance on epic mealtime and did the steak and schwarzenegger breakfast which was Oh, 78,000 calories and borderline disturbing. But good to him. He's going to get back into shape. Now, we're going to talk about Terminator. We mentioned it before. Terminator Genesis. Schwarzenegger threw out some things, and uh, we talk about it. Terminator deals with a lot of time travel. So we get to deal with the T-800, and we get to deal with Schwarzenegger being in shape again. I guess he's going to go back in the same shape, because he's right in what he said, is that the skeleton doesn't change the body of may get old but the skeleton doesn't change so he's just gonna be wearing a lot more clothes and you won't be able to tell as much but he's going to be doing well in terms of his shape which was really good and pinnacle to being a terminator movie but i don't think we're gonna get another terminator after this so i think we should just enjoy it how it is and that's set for release on july the 1st of 2015 so pierce bronson wants to be an expendable now what like i mean Apparently, he's been left the impression that he's been chatting back and forth with Sly and all them. And uh, he says, why not? What's the worst that can happen? I don't know. Um, He made one good Bond film, and then that's it. Nothing else beyond that. I can honestly think of anything that you've done good. Well, I'm sure he... Well, the Thomas Crown Affair wasn't too bad. But, I mean, really, you kind of ruined the Bond franchise and we had to wait for Daniel Craig to pick it up. I'm not complaining about the Daniel Craig thing. I'm just saying that maybe Expendables, having a double trilogy, six movies, or whatever you want to call it, and having Pierce Brins in it, Bronson in it, like, come on, guys. There's going to be... we got to put the foot down somewhere. Like, I mean... That means Seagal's eventually going to be in this fucking thing, and we all don't want him in it, so... Ugh, Mr. Slappy Hands, I don't think I can deal with that. And really, Bronson is not that great of an actor. I know some people may disagree, but I, he doesn't impress me at all. Now, back in the land of cash grabs, and if you remember recently, there was a podcast done by Between Me and Dick Rice, Rick Rice, whatever you want to call him, about the cash grabs that's been happening with... Um, Metal Gear Solid Ground Zero is about how it was 40 bucks just for like 10 minutes of gameplay. Well, guess what? Another cash grab is happening. Another one. Would you believe me? No, I don't believe me either. I don't believe me either. Bullshit.
No, but it's not necessarily a bad cash grab. The PlayStation has been porting games from the PlayStation 3 to the PlayStation 4 with a $10 dummy code. Well, dummy fee, I guess I would say. But, you know, what's really awesome about that is the DLC and the actual game as well will be a port over. How awesome is that? So Last of Us will port over... Well, by the way, Last of Us, the graphics are already fucking amazing on the PlayStation 3, so I would shudder to think what it'd be like on a PlayStation 4. But have that ported over as well. And now they're talking about other ideas like moving over Bioshock Infinite. What the fuck? Now that's awesome. I mean, we can't not complain about that. A $10 dummy fee for it? I will definitely pay for that. Like, they're going to get so much money out of it just because Last of Us replay value is so high that they can constantly keep playing this over and over and over and over again, and no one will ever get bored of it. Because I'm not. And I'm probably going to end up playing it after I finish this pod. Nah, I lied. I'm probably going to go to the gym. But maybe when I come home, I'll play it. Acolas Rip Fans, before you take off the headset and cancel your order, hear me. Okay, I have not personally used it. I will say that. I will get that out of the way. I do have the possibility one day of using it, which I would like to do. But before you cancel your order, think about this. Yes, a lot of people are canceling their order right now in the back of their head because they're like, ah, fuck, Facebook bought it. Doesn't mean anything. It just means they own it. Doesn't necessarily mean that they're going to have the end game screw up of everything. Come on. This place, this is not Microsoft. Microsoft is notorious for screwing shit up. It is not them. But if you had to, go to the Akola support page to do so. I'd rather you didn't. I'd rather you stay with it. Because honestly, I may not be a huge VR guy, but everything I've read makes me want to, to, to use it to want to play it. Um, I eventually would like to get someone on the podcast and talk about it. I know Andrew is becoming very well endowed in the knowledge about it, but I would really want to boost this because this is something I do like and I do want to stand behind. So give it a look. Look up a Colas Rift on Google. Now, like I said, it may have been purchased by Facebook. It is not the end of the world. Like, come on. We know at the end of the day, the world's going to be owned by Vince McMahon from the WWF. F, not E, F, will own the world one day. And he will buy out everything, and he will choose everything. And you never know. He might be an Akolas Riff fan, and I am not against that. On March 26th, da, 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 Walmart is getting into the previously enjoyed industry. Now, I don't know if this includes Canada right now, but I don't do know it. It does affect the United States that Walmart wants to be a part of it. Do you blame them? Sad story, which some of you may understand, some most of you won't, but we have a local previously enjoyed store called That's, and sorry, not That's, an Entertainment Overload, and they've been around for a decade, and sadly, they closed their doors today, and the reason why I say sadly is because they were actually a very fair company, um, and they... I bought a lot of my video games from them because really, if you think about it, which I know was a spark of a huge debate a long time ago about uh, paying full price for a video game, previous enjoy, blah, 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 blah. But I think this type of industry needs to have that option to be able to go and say, hey, you know, I only want to pay $30 instead of $60. I don't care if it's been previously used. Like, I don't get why you should be, why they should be pissed off because People buy previously enjoyed cars all the time. Fucking Ford doesn't get pissed off about it. They don't care. They sold the car at one point. They made their money off the car at one point. Who gives a shit? I think the video game industry is very, very, very greedy. And look what happens. They get very greedy. They think they're doing so well. And they end up doing. They end up laying off a lot because they got too greedy. They didn't have enough money to back their. You know, they were thinking more with their mind than with their wallet. But this is exciting. Very exciting. So, March 26th, actually two days ago. I'm actually going to check it out. Walmart, Mokley to me, does not have it. But it's going to be more huge in the summer. So, we'll see how this turns out. So, don't go crazy and think that this is going to be a huge thing. Let's see how it turns out first. But either way, if this is what they want to do, I'm pro for it. Because Walmart's got a lot of cheap shit. And Josh Whedon, sorry for fucking up South Korea while shooting his Avengers movie. I feel bad for him. Such a hard life he has. Yeah, 
And then his comment of, well, I know what it's like to have the traffic jams shit because I live in Los Angeles. Listen, it's kind of like living in Toronto for me. I know the fucking traffic's going to be shit. I'm not going to be pissed off about it because I moved into this scenario. So there's no reason why I'd be pissed off. But he fucked up Seoul, Japan for, sorry, not Japan, Seoul, sorry, South Korea for two days. Well, listen, I'm sure they're making a lot of money off the fact that you're fucking up their city. So... Who gives a shit? Like, why did you need to do a public apology? This happens all the time. We shut shit down all the time. Have you been in Welland? Have you seen our streets? Have you seen what it's like to drive down the street? No. Apologize to me for that. And now Chris Evans want, doesn't want to act anymore. Hmm. Sounds like a Shia situation. Definitely sounds like a Shia situation. Now, he wants to get into directing. I think that's his huge thing now. And I'm happy for him because, you know, he's made millions of dollars... Off of all his movies before Marvel, right? No, he did not. But good for him. I'm happy he found a role. Happy he found Captain America. So, you know, why stay on the gravy train that's going to make you millions and millions and millions and millions and millions and millions and millions of dollars? Say, so, you know what? I want to direct. You know how that, you know what happens to you? You turn it to James Franco. I love Franco. But really, what happened to Franco? Like, I mean, he directs his own movie, sure, but eh, they're all right. Like, Spring Breakers. But, I mean, good for him. That only means that we have, what, the last time he'll be Captain America will be in the next, maybe May 2017 will be the last time? Uh, not necessarily a bad thing. I think he's a good Captain America, but I don't think he's that great of an actor. So, as usual, we're going to make it a huge dramatic thing and everyone feel bad and let champagne and row whatever come from the ceiling and sky, whatever. Yeah, I'm just mumbling and I don't even care at this point because that's how much I care about that article. Now, a sad moment needs to be had for me. They are officially 100%, 20% because I know even, yeah, he's never going to make it again, but. They're officially ending the Arkham series. There is going to be no more Batman Arkham video games. Very depressing for me because in my opinion, which like we all, I always say, everyone's opinion is different, but the game that had the correct controls, the correct storyline, and the game was fun. And they're going to cancel it. Rocksteady basically came out and said, this is it. We're done. We're not going to talk about Arkham Origins. Don't blame them. But they're going to give you one more. And they basically said, well, we've done everything we can do. It's time for us to walk away. Uh, but they haven't said they're going to do anything else now. I mean, they made a... <laughs> trust me, after Arkham... Was it Arkham City? They don't need to work anymore. They made a lot of money off that game. Because that game is always going to be a greatest hits. Almost every comic book fan or even gamer has this game in their collection. I know I do. And I love it. I love playing the game. I haven't even finished it. Like, I beat the game, but I mean, I never finished the Riddler's jokes. I don't think anyone did because it's so fucking annoying. But I think this is fair that, you know, they close off their trilogy. They close off their own trilogy. Uh, they presume that maybe, sorry, I wasn't right. EA, it's W, it's Warner Brother Games, might make another one. Let's hope they don't. As much as I do like Origins, only because of the storyline, the game overall was so flawed. I, I expected so much from it, and I didn't. I, you know, I don't even really understand why Rocksteady let them have that. But I think they're putting out. They're pulling. Their, they're definitely not pulling any punches. Like they're gonna give you the Batmobile. You can customize the Batmobile. They're giving you so many different options in this game that they never gave you before, and. The storyline sounds really good, especially with a character called the Arkham Knight, which I'm not going to ruin anything from that. You know, I'm happy that they're willing to go out there and make this awesome. So with that said, I'm happy, but still sad on the inside. With that said, that is Friday's news. Wasn't going to do it, but a lot of news did happen this week. Didn't see it coming. This weekend, we will be having a podcast with the crew. Um, we will be discussing the Walking Dead last episode which i'm not yeah, i'm not going to really discuss too much and we'll be discussing the new tmnt trailer that just came out today we posted on the page went a little bit viral um a lot of first impressions and we need to talk about it because i know there's a lot of pissed off people out there and with that said barbaric have a chimichanga <laughs>